So the, <clears throat> the new bracket puts the sensor on top of the swing arm there. It's a little easier when you're putting the wheel back not to hit everything. I always still take the bolt out and pull the, the sensor back when I'm putting the wheel back in. But now it's not underneath the swing arm. Not super happy how they have it routed. It kind of hangs over the swing arm. But it's behind the exhaust so it's not super ugly. I had somebody with a 2023 send me a picture of their layout and this is the correct way. It's really the only way for it to go. So this is the new holder here that bolts onto the new brake bracket, caliper bracket. And the other thing you got to do is move one of your clips here. And the, the cable has little white marks on it where these clips are supposed to clip on. And then of course the rubber grommets are on there for the existing welded on uh, cable clamps that match up and then it goes underneath the uh, hugger onto another clip and then routes up underneath the tank does a u-turn through another clamp and then comes to the connector behind the tank level sensor or fuel pump connector so that's this secondary connector here underneath the tank. And I got a lot of crap underneath here. I got a quick shifter and a wireless interface data logger for the track. So I'm happy that it's a pretty easy install. And you can see how it hangs over the swing arm, but that's how it routes. It goes through the clip and through the other uh, wire guide that you have to buy that bolts onto the front here of the caliper bracket and then takes a little turn goes out around the swing arm with some slack which I guess you need in case your chain adjuster is going to pull you all the way to the back of the swing arm notice I'm pretty far forward right now so when you have a new chain you'll have a little loop sticking out but it's normal <clears throat> 